Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, you know, I don't really have a ton to, to start out this review with. Uh, so, first and foremost though, if you celebrated the 4th of July yesterday, very happy. Uh, or I don't know what I'm trying to say, I just hope you had a good holiday. And, uh, well, happy Thursday, happy 5th of July. All right, right into the review. We're gonna, uh, we're just gonna, gonna leap into it. We're gonna, we're gonna run into it. Maybe I'll just crawl into it. But we're just, we're just going into this review. As I was kind of setting this up, you know, there's some storms moving in. If, if the scene looks a little grayer than usual, it's because of that. And then it seemed like everyone in the universe was mowing their lawn just now. But I said, you know, if it, if it rains, let it pour. You know. Let there be a vicious storm and and let everyone mow their lawn and and let there be a huge motorcycle parade down the street We're still gonna do the review no matter what the universe tries to do to uh, to cause otherwise Anyway new release from McDonald's at least a semi new release from McDonald's This one I needed to take a few notes on because it had a few ingredients and uh, wanted to make sure I, I knew what I was talking about the McDonald's bacon smokehouse burger is what it's called uh, we're just going on a burger kick. Comes with a quarter pound beef patty, thick cut, applewood smoked bacon, bacon onion sauce, crispy onion strings, white cheddar cheese, sweet mustard sauce, and an artisan bun. $5.39 was the price I acquired this sandwich for. Bacon smokehouse burger. It's supposed to be like a, a, a smoky... Smoky smokehouse. I don't know if that was a motorcycle or thunder. Anyway, it's supposed to be like a smoky smokehouse burger uh, that we all we all love, right? Initial reaction, honestly, is I was I don't know. It had a. I just think it's got a, a bit much on it, you know. I just worry with all the sauces and whatnot, it'll get lost in there. But who knows? You know, I want I want McDonald's to prove me otherwise. I want them to say, nope, all these sauces are going to go together perfectly, and it's going to work out great, and uh, who knows. So let's unbox it. Let's see what it looks like. This is one of their signature crafted burgers. There's the little sleeve that it comes in, a collector's item. Some people, they save them. They kind of tape them onto their wall. Yeah. Some of them go for a lot of money, believe it or not. But anyway, yeah, here it is. Okay, there's the uh, translucent cheese, uh, as is standard. You can see the quarter pound beef patty right there. Those onion strips, they are really crispy, I'll tell you that. They sure are. The bacon is on the top bun right here. And you can see it there. Uh, along with that is the sweet mustard sauce on the top bun. And then on the bottom bun, right here is uh, I want to make sure I get the the name right you can kind of see right there the bacon onion sauce so smart move of them at least to kind of separate it from top bun to bottom bun so they don't really get you know they, they don't collide with each other too much and hopefully we'll be able to distinguish them and uh, that's really all I have to say you can see here uh, what it looks like I'm gonna try it Bacon Smokehouse Burger from McDonald's going in. That is thunder. That's nature's way of telling me to hurry it up.
We'll take one more bite for you. Bacon Smokehouse Burger from McDonald's. I'll tell you what my main worry was when it came down to this burger. I was looking at the, the ingredients there, and it is very reliant on what I saw to be two things, the sauces and onions. And both of these things I worry, and this happens in some cases, but not all of them. The onions sometimes can be so potent that they can kind of overpower some of those other flavors that you would otherwise be able to taste. And what I worried about this burger, even more so than that, was the addition of two sauces. You know, because usually, when you get a burger, it usually has maybe a special sauce, and then they might slap a little, you know, generic ketchup, or some mayo, or whatever, the, you know, the place likes to put on it. But two special sauces in one. The bacon onion sauce, and then the sweet mustard sauce. I thought to myself, well, how is that going to go over? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, but first, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to build anticipation here. I'm going to go down the list, and I'll tell you what each one tastes like. Quarter pound beef patty. It was good, fresh, juicy, can't complain. Uh, if you want to hear more about that, you could check the review I did of their uh, new and improved quarter pounder burger. Uh, but it was on par. It maintained the standards, enjoyed it, no problem there. The thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. It was crispy, a little smoky. I could see where they were saying the smokehouse flavor from. Could have been a little more, you know, we always like a little more bacon. But it was crispy. It wasn't, you know, soggy or flavorless, so I can't complain there. The crispy onion strips. They were indeed very crispy and, and crunchy and crunchy. And, uh... That was okay too. I couldn't really taste it too much. Uh, and the same goes for the white cheddar cheese. It was definitely there. You know, I saw it. You saw it. Well, maybe not all of us saw it, but most of us saw it. But I couldn't taste it very well. That's an issue that happens sometimes. The artisan roll was what it was, but now the two sauces. This is what it comes down to. They're gonna make or break this sandwich. Well, I enjoyed the bacon onion sauce. That was the first thing, I really made sure to taste it, you know, get a bite right where it is, try it out, you know, get it full blown. And it was good, it was enjoyable, I liked it. Uh, it actually had this little hint of sweetness to it, uh, which was surprising. But I enjoyed it, I thought it was a really good sauce, really flavorful, really added to the burger. Um, just added some great flavor. I think this can do without the sweet mustard sauce, though. So I was saying, I think this is something that only needs one sauce. And while you're eating it, you know, you get the, the little flavor from the onions, that smokiness, the juiciness from the burger. Um, the, the bacon onion sauce gives more sweetness than the sweet mustard sauce does. So it's just blending in with this nice, you know, really savory tasting burger. And then the sweet mustard sauce comes along. It's not really sweet. You can't really taste any of that. Instead, you get this tang that comes from the mustard. And it's just, it's out of place. You know, it's like a really savory burger, the sweetness that really complements it great. And then this tanginess comes in and kind of disrupts that nice little melody of flavors that you got going on. Eh, it could do without the sweet mustard sauce. If I were you, now if you like mustard, that's a different story. And you could do anything you want. If you just want to get this with, uh, you know, you can get the, the bacon smokehouse burger. But no beef patty, no bacon, no bacon onion sauce, no onions, no cheddar cheese, and just the bun and the sweet mustard sauce. Do whatever you want. But what I would recommend, or probably the best, the best tasting burger, get it without the sweet mustard sauce. I think, you know, that mustard, it's okay, but it's just out of place, and it kind of affects how the entire sandwich tastes. But otherwise, great sandwich. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, but to really improve and amplify that eating experience, get it without the sweet mustard sauce. That's just my two cents. $5.39 is the price for this. I think it's a worthy price. Quarter pounder deluxe, uh, you know, deluxe signature burger. Tastes good, though. Uh, I think it was nice. You know, definitely a smokehouse burger. 
I would call it, uh, as their vernacular states it to be. And uh, out of 10, I'm going to be giving this a 7 out of 10. Just again, because of that sweet mustard sauce, that's the one thing that I kind of have a complaint about. Uh, but otherwise, aside from that, I think it's a great sandwich, and uh, you know, that's my thoughts on it. So today's review was for the Smokehouse, or the Bacon Smokehouse Burger from McDonald's. Hope you enjoyed the review, we're just kind of getting straight to the, the point today. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Today's a Thursday, by the way, if you're interested. Check out the newest VORW radio show, got some good talk and music coming up for you. You can check it out on TuneIn, on SoundCloud, or on the International Shortwave. More information in the cards, in the description, and in the pinned comment. Give it a listen. It's something you could put on in the background or listen to diligently. A lot of fun, and it's something I do for you every week. Hope you could check it out. Thank you again for watching. Take care. I'm your host, The Report of the Week.